What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process in which I take to drill a tank. Now the first thing I like to do is make a template out of plywood. Uh, it's pretty simple, just take the screw nut part off of the uh, back of the bulkhead, and that's actually what I use to uh, trace the hole in which I'm gonna uh, actually cut out of that piece of plywood. Now I use the same type of drill bit that I'm using to actually cut the hole of the glass, but it's an older one that uh, isn't very sharp anymore. So I use that to actually uh, cut the hole in the plywood. Now once the hole is cut, you can go ahead and line it up wherever you want. And I find it to just be a lot easier to have the template in the first place when it comes to drilling the hole. Uh, if anybody's ever tried to drill one without a template, uh, if you can start at an angle, but anybody who's ever tried that has, uh, at one point in time, has uh, uh, sent the drill bit across the glass uh, and scraping up the glass. So it's just, uh, this is just the easier way to do it. Once I have the template in place, I just go ahead and add some water. I like to use a continuous flow from something like a garden hose and then uh, just start drilling at that point. Now it's pretty easy, you don't have to go at any angle because the template takes care of all that. But do remember that uh, you wanna let the drill bit do the work. Uh, don't add too much pressure because you will crack the glass, especially on a tank this size, which is a 10 gallon. It really doesn't take much to crack the glass. So it's always best to go slow, let gravity do the work. I know on some of the bigger tanks, like the 125 when I drilled that, uh, add a little bit more pressure because you kind of had to get through that thicker glass. But uh, like I said, just pretty much let the drill bit do the work if you haven't done this uh, and you're not very familiar with the process. So once you have a decent hole started, you can go ahead and remove the template, allowing you to see how the bit is going into the actual glass. Now I like to do this because uh, towards the end, you're gonna start seeing where uh, if you didn't have it even or completely flat the whole way, you'll see how some of it starts to break through the bottom of the glass first. And at that point, you're gonna wanna take the pressure off the uh, side that's breaking through the glass and focus it on the other sides to allow it to break through evenly. If you don't break through the glass evenly, uh, sometimes you end up getting chips on the inside of the tank, which then, uh, depending on how big the chip is, can impact how the uh, bulkhead seal seals the tank. So just be aware that another thing I like to do is put a towel inside the tank. Uh, this is to protect it from that piece of glass that you're drilling out when it finally comes loose and falls. You don't want it hitting the front panel there, scratching it or dip, chipping it or anything like that. So having a towel in there will prevent that from happening. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it to be helpful and somewhat entertaining. I wanted to let you guys know that I started a closed group on Facebook, which is uh, Building a Successful Reef. That's the name of that page. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, basically, I wanted to have a community of subscribers where we can uh, ask our questions and get them answered not only by me but other subscribers. Uh, I thought it would be pretty cool, so uh, that link will be in the description. But if you don't have Facebook, you can always put your uh, questions in the comment section. Either way, guys, I appreciate you watching. As always, go ahead and like, comment, and, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.